In this video, we're going to use the wall tool to map the perimeter of our building. So one thing I'm going to do first before we start mapping is come down into the layers menu. I'm actually going to turn off the street map because I don't need it right now. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of my base map to about 25%. And for this building, this is going to make it a little bit easier for me to map. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit um, and I'm going to press W to activate the wall tool. I can also just select it in the geometry panel here. Um, and then I'm going to zoom in with my scroll wheel into the corner of my building here. And I will click into the corner. And you'll see here that I have a wall actually following my cursor. Um, so I'm not clicking and dragging to make this happen, it just happens automatically. And one thing that's important to note when you're drawing walls is if you hold shift, it'll constrain the angle of your wall to 45 degrees. So for buildings that have a lot of right angles like this one, it's a very, very helpful feature. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my trackpad or scroll wheel to zoom out slightly. I'm going to hold space to activate the pan tool, and I'm going to pan over until I can see the other corner that I want to connect to. Um, I'm going to zoom in slightly to that corner, and then hold shift so that my wall is constrained, and then I'll click. And so you can see now the wall is following me again. Um, I'm going to continue this process, so I'm going to hold spacebar, pan, I'm going to zoom out slightly, see where I'm going. I'm going to zoom in to the corner of my building, hold shift, and click again. And I'm just going to repeat this process until essentially the whole perimeter is mapped. So hold spacebar. This time I'm going to just pan all the way over, release. I'm going to zoom in so I can get uh, accurately map this corner. Hold shift, click. And then again, I'm going to pan all the way up to the top where I started and connect back to that first node, which will happen. It's almost magnetic. Um, and then I'll click the select tool using V and zoom out. So you can see here my perimeter is mapped and it's essentially turned this into one very large room. Um, if we want to change the type of space that it is, um, we can click into this drop down menu and we can either change it to a hallway or an open to below, which is essentially a hole in the floor. Um, and so when we enclose anything with rooms, it creates spaces. Um, and by default, every space is a room until you change it to be otherwise. Okay, so you probably noticed as I was mapping that the editor was actually picking up doors and windows as I mapped over them. This is a feature that we have an on by default. So if you come down to this magic wand icon, you'll see that window and door detection is on. If we don't want it to pick up windows and doors, we can turn that off. Um, but it's probably best to leave it on because in most cases it's going to be very helpful. So I'm going to use my scroll wheel to zoom in here um, to this section of rooms. And essentially what I'm going to do is create one large section here and then fill it in with walls. So I'm going to press W to activate the wall tool. I'm going to hold space bar and click and drag to pan over. And I'm going to zoom in slightly. I'm going to connect to this existing wall and click. You'll see the wall is following me. I'm going to hold shift to constrain it to 90 degrees and click again at this intersection point. I'm going to zoom out slightly and again hold space bar, click and drag to pan. I'm going to zoom in to the corner of this wall here and then hold shift and click. You'll see it's mapping some doors there automatically for me. I'm going to zoom out slightly, hold space bar, click and drag to pan, hold shift again and connect to this existing wall. So then when I press this, uh, press V to enter the select tool, you'll see here that I've got one large room here and I'm just gonna turn it into six different classrooms. So again, I just activate the wall tool, pressing W. Um, I'm gonna hover on the wall and click. I'm gonna bring this into focus here, hold shift and connect to the other wall. So you'll see in this scenario that it actually released my cursor and there's no wall following me anymore. And that's cause we just connected two walls to create a room. And so it's very efficient because we can just basically map one wall after another. Again, hovering, click, hold shift, click again when you get to the edge. 
And I'm just going to repeat this process until all of these classrooms are mapped. Okay, I'm going to press the select tool and zoom out. And you'll see when I hover on all of these rooms, they're all completed. And I'm just going to finish off these last areas to create this entire section. Okay, and so you can see there, we've now mapped a large section of rooms. And we basically just repeat the process until everything on our map is created.